pen. We're full of pens today. Quick find here in a spruce tree. Uh, we're here in uh, Toronto and uh, we just wanted to use this opportunity to bring you up to speed on the TV project. I've had quite a few updates since our last broadcast with uh, a virtual mystery on uh, CCNN or CCNN? Yeah, CCNN. Cash Canada News Now. Um, had a very nice update from Geo Jangi, Angie, who is a, uh, a geocaching blogger. And she doesn't do videos. Well, I'm going to put this cache away. Uh, she doesn't do videos, but she took an opportunity to do a video for the Cache Canada project. So that was really neat to see, and I'm going to put that up on a uh, up on a link uh, right here, just above me. Uh, there'll be a link to her first video, and also in the uh, comments below or the description below, I'll put a link to her blog. You read about that, and uh, you subscribe to her, and you'll have some good information on geocaching. Also had an update from Moto Joe down in uh, New Mexico. He got his uh, TB in the mail and he uh, posted a picture of that, so we'll be hearing from him soon. We also had a very nice update from Geo Jerry uh, off in Washington. And uh, we'll tell you about that and uh, at the next cache. Come on, let's go. How could I make my content fresh? How could I participate with these other Geo vloggers? Then it hit me, why not geovlog a mini road trip in northern North Dakota? With that thought, I created a video. Thank you geovloggers of the world, and thank you London Westie for your desire to collaborate and help geocachers connect around the world. Cache Canada, cache North Dakota, just get out there and cache. given us a good run for our money. So while we're looking for this one, which is a three and a half, one and a half, and has been found hit and miss, we're going to throw up a little bit of a video from Geo Jerry and his last adventure with the Cash Canada project. He took his Cash Canada TB to the very first stash, the plaque that shows where the very first cache was hidden. And take a look at it right here. And maybe we'll find the cache by then. Who knows? Bring it in. Check it out. Check it out. Yes, look, look, look. Let's move this out the way. There it is. It made it all the way. Well, I think we're gonna have to call a DNF on that one. It's just that's just the way it goes. We haven't got all day, and there's lots of places to look, and there's more caches to be found. And we have more things to update you on, so hey, let's go. Well, it's too bad we couldn't make the find on that cache, but, you know, there's a lot more. But at least we got to see what Ger Geo Jerry did with the, uh, the TV that he has and the place that he took it to. That's pretty special. Um, that's on my list someday to get there. Hopefully we will. But uh, it's on the other side of the continent, so take a little bit of a drive. So uh, our next stop, we're going to hopefully find a cache. And we'll tell you about Sir Drumalot and his TV. Stay tuned. This one's got to be missing, it hasn't been found since last summer. It's a regular, a 2-3, and all, there's five, six logs that say DNF, and the only thing I could find is a pair of sunglasses. So, uh, the last update we have is from Sir Drumalot. He uh, did a mail opening uh, episode, and uh, here's a little shot of him opening up, and he talks about the 
Cash Canada TB and some of the things that he's thinking of doing with it. He's just kind of working his brain to see what kind of adventures he'll take it on. And then uh, he'll update us on that one. So we'll be sure to look at uh, Joseph, uh, see where he takes the, the project. And uh, so here's a map. Shows you where all the travel bugs are right now. And uh, they're on their way traveling. We'll see what all the participants set as their goals for the travel bugs. And uh, we'll update you again soon. So stay They never listen. This is what I have to put up with. Ha, 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 ha.